Hi all, it's Rach from Spiritual Angelic Guidance. I'm here to do a reading for Aquarius. Now this will be for the 16th to the 22nd of May 2022. If you've seen my readings before, welcome back. Thanks for the support. If you haven't, welcome to my channel. I hope it resonates. If it does, please don't forget to share, like and subscribe. Don't forget, it is a general reading. It is not going to suit everyone out there. So take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Also, time can be fluid and energy can be vice versa, so keep, it, keep that in mind. Okay, so I've done what I've done the last couple of weeks. I've shuffled. The Oracle cards have been organized. They all fell out when they needed to with the different decks. So I've got them. And then um, I pre-shuffled the tarot. And we'll go through that in a minute together. But we'll go through the Oracle first just to try and save a bit of time. Okay, so I haven't really looked at what cards you have, but it looks like there's something that you need to grow from. You, you have an opportunity because ones are about opportunities and beginnings and I feel like you're having an opportunity to transform, make some changes and grow. There was something that you went through that you need to grow from. Um, you may be seeing, possibly seeing a, a loved one that crossed over in your dreams. Um, three and three is a six. Six, six, six. Sixes are about success and reward. Um, Yeah, I just, I just feel like someone's keeping an eye on you and they're possibly visiting you in your dreams, like I said, because you've got dreams as well and you've got angel in reverse. And angels are number three. Three and it's in reverse. So you're not growing, like I said, and you need to because the butterfly is the one that fell out um, with the on top with the angel. So, yeah, there's definitely something to do with somebody past crossing over possibly that you haven't yet dealt with or you know really healed and grown from look you're needing to heal your heart like i said mother healing now it doesn't have to be mother some sort of parent because it's in reverse is mother right so it could mean mother father female energy masculine doesn't really matter some sort of parent Healing that you haven't yet dealt with. You really do need to heal your heart. You've got balance. This is number 19. 9 and 1 is, t is t 10. Oh, yeah, 9 and 1 is 10. 1 and 0 is 1. So once again, you have an opportunity to get some balance in your emotions, in your mental, your physical, like your body in general, your life. Um, but once again, you're needing to accept, which you're not because it's in reverse. There's something you're needing to accept. And four is about stability, foundation. Um, so there's something you're needing to accept that you're not. And it could probably give you a lot more stability in yourself. I don't feel like stability like finances. I feel like more stability in yourself, like I said, with the balance. And look, you know, it's over her eyes and her heart. You know, like there's something that you're needing to deal with that will bring more balance into your life, into your body, into just you as a person. And I feel like it was something you went through that felt like darkness for you. Call to cause depression. Um, something you haven't yet dealt with. And four, once again, is four and a zero. Forty, four is also about stability and foundation. So there's definitely something that you view. Sorry, hiccups. Something that you viewed as your stability or your foundation, like I said, I feel... I feel like with the mother healing, it's got something to do with your a parent or somebody you viewed like that. Um, but yeah, it's it's like something you always thought of as your stable foundation, and your stable foundation crumbled. 
and it caused you to go into some sort of darkness. On the bottom, you've got slingshot. And it talks about strain, tension, anxiety, stressed, you know, um, there was a big change and it made you feel like that tension, anxiety and stress, like I said. Um, you've got birdcage, codependent, possessive, oblivious, um, you want freedom. You feel confined. You feel trapped. Um, so whether you're... There's something that you're clinging on to that you could have watched happen. You don't have to have. Um, whether you, you could have been oblivious to it all. But, you know, I feel like... You could feel like you're a very codependent person. You like to have that stability and security and, you know, but yeah, there's something that you don't want to deal with. that you're emotion like you felt like you were emotionally connected with or um it could be that you just take things very personally um very sensitive kind of person whether that's you But the two that fell out in the next one was there's a lesson to be learned from this and you show up in my dreams. It helps me process buried memories. As I said to you, where was that dream card? You had this before. Dream and angel. And I feel like this person that you haven't let go of, that you haven't healed from, is showing up in your dreams because you need to do some sort of healing. And eights are about action and transformation you know you need to make a change you need to take action so this person is showing up in your dreams so that you can then get whatever healing you need there's some sort of lesson for you in this so you can make a change because fives are about change and a loss you definitely had a loss and of some kind and this person is showing up in your dreams And then the last oracle cards, the deck that you that I used, you got White Wolf and you got Hummingbird. White Wolf talks about being confident, being guided, trust in the knowing, freedom, believing your power, resilience. So, as I said, you are going to get some sort of healing from this and with that you need to do. And I feel like you are a very resilient person. But you need to have freedom from whatever situation this is. And it's number seven. You, you're going to get freedom from these challenges and obstacles that you've been going through. Even if it is just like, as I said, this emotional, mental, whatever this is in your body that you've been going through. This is this has caused you to feel you are going to get some sort of freedom from that. And you've got the hummingbird, number 24. Which is about six, uh, which is six, which is about success and reward. So resilient, um, lift out of negativity. So once again, enjoyment. So this darkness that you felt is going to get better. The sun is going to come out again. You know, you're going to get out of that depressive kind of place because you're coming out of that, or you're doing the healing that you need to do, and you're learning from this so you can grow and heal your heart. So all this is about okay so we're going to do four cards on this side for your person four cards on whatever your person is for you whatever that means doesn't have to be love it could just be in general 
somebody you need to deal with and it could even be this person we're talking about and then this is going to be your side and we'll get four cards over here so four cards for your Aquarius person okay four cards two more cards well I said four more cards but I meant two more cards let's get two more cards please sorry I don't want that many cards Two more cards, please. Yeah. Okay. Okay, four cards for Aquarius. Four cards for Aquarius, please. Okay. Okay, let's start with your person's side. Uh, if I need to clarify, I will. Um, but, yeah, only if I feel like I need to. Okay, so they've got the Nine of Swords, the Page of Pentacles in reverse, the Two of Wands in reverse, and they've got Peace in reverse. Now, Peace is in Tarot is Death in reverse. Um, okay, so... Nine of, Nine of Swords is about, you know, feeling anxious, worry, depressing, uh, depress, depression, uh, overactive mind, obsessive thoughts, you know, not being able to sleep, feeling trapped. And I feel like that's how your person felt. They felt like they were depressed. They felt like they were trapped. They couldn't release the feelings that they had. They couldn't get rid of how they felt. And... Um, yeah, I just don't feel like this person was in a very good thought place. They weren't mentally balanced. They weren't, you know, in a good headspace. Um, but... With the page of pentacles in reverse, they need, there wasn't really any progress being made to get out of the headspace that they were in. Um, they, I just feel like no progress was really being made. There was nothing that they could do to get out of this, this funk this darkness um, can you tell me more about this page of pentacles so yeah eight of swords in reverse yeah no surprise um, they had like the thoughts that were in their head it was like they couldn't get out of those thoughts, right? They couldn't, like we all judge ourselves. We're all our worst inner critics, but they were having like this, this time with so many negative thoughts and they felt like there was no way out. There was nothing they could do to, to get out of this, this funk. Like I said, there was nothing they could do to get out of this headspace, this negative place, this darkness. Um, and you've got the then they've got the two of wands and peace in reverse. Like I said, I just feel like they didn't have inner peace. They couldn't get peace in themselves. Um, with the two of wands, yeah, like a lot of inner conflict, and they kind of feared the unknown. Um, no one really could understand what they were going through. And I mean, you know what? I'm not saying, you know, because I'm sure you're saying, oh, I know what feeling like that's being in this darkness is like. And you may. 
but you know what you can't feel what someone else is feeling you can't like i can be depressed and you can be depressed i might be depressed because i've okay let's use my example right i want kids i'm not a mum, and i haven't had that opportunity so i may feel depressed about that right you may be depressed because you're i don't know finances are crap right and you are so focused on your finances and maybe you have i don't know shit health or whatever 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 your search situation is is different from mine right it doesn't make mine any less it doesn't make mine any uh you know it doesn't make yours right and mine wrong it's our own individual experiences in our lives right so what this person is going through you may view as eh, it's nothing but it's their experience you can't tell this person well you need to just get out of that head funk you know what you can't sometimes people can't they don't have inner peace and whatever this situation is it wasn't making someone very happy They just felt like they couldn't, you know that saying, let go and let God. It was like, no, I needed to take control of this situation. They didn't feel like there was a, you know, better future coming. They couldn't see past where they were at and they couldn't, they couldn't release that. For Aquarius, this person. They decided to take back kind of control in the situation because they knew it wouldn't be very successful. Um, they didn't really have much direction in life. Um, they just wanted completion. They just wanted, okay, for some people, whoever this reading is for, I, I just feel like this person took power in their own life. So whatever that means. They dealt with whatever they needed to deal with because the world is all about closure in reverse, seeking personal closure, um, shortcuts. So they wanted a shortcut to get to where they wanted to go, where they needed to go. For some of you, as I said, um, there could have been some sort of third party involved. Now, that doesn't have to mean people. It can mean things. It could mean addictions. It can mean whatever, right? And they i want to say like it's all about working together and a circle of support and i don't know if this person felt like they had that they may have felt like they had it but just it didn't help them with their own headspace like you know when you're in that when those people that are super depressed you know, I can be there and support them, or you can be there and support them, but in the end, they're the only person that can get themselves out of this darkness. You, you know, there's nothing you can do to help them do that. Um, and as I said, I feel like it was somebody in your family, um, some, yeah, like a parent or a family member. Mm. all right let's read your side 
might need to burn some more sage. Um, okay, so you've got on your side the Magician in reverse, the Wheel of Fortune in reverse, the Ace of Pentacles, the Sun, you got the Four of Cups um, in reverse, and we'll see what else. So... <coughs> The, let's start with the magician in reverse. Um, I don't know if you try to kind of manipulate this person or um, I don't know if that had to do with their depression and the, their anxiety and, you know, all of those things. I don't know if it had to do with that, but I, I don't know. I just feel like you see that you saw them as kind of either them as manipulating or you manipulating or there was something to do with that. Um, maybe you weren't being very resourceful for this person. You weren't trying to help this person. Maybe you thought you could have been, but I don't feel like, I don't feel like you were like you saying, if you do this, then you won't, then I won't do this or, you know, that kind of like emotional manipulation. Because I keep focusing on the cup. I don't focus on the, the, like the card, if I put it up right, there's like the sword, the cup, like they have every, you have everything here, right? Um, whatever you need and it's in reverse. So it feels like, I don't know if you couldn't offer them what they needed because you don't have, you don't feel like you've got that. You don't have balance in your own mind, in your own head, in your own heart. How can you help someone else? Can you see what I'm saying? But if not, this might be very specific, but I focus on the cup and it's in reverse. So whether, <sighs> emotionally you couldn't offer them any kind of, um, like you couldn't help them emotionally because you, you're not emotionally, which is weird that that is what I'm focusing on currently. And maybe you try to emotionally manipulate them as well, like as I said. Um, Queen of Wands is in reverse and the Ten of Pentacles. Whether you lost respect for this person, like you're, you know, self-respect i don't know i just i feel like this was somebody in your family with the ten of pentacles who you know you saw as your security you saw as your like this you know when parents like they're your foundation right they're where you came from they're normally your stability you know and most a lot of people not everyone but a lot of people and i feel like you know you had this what you thought was a happy family life you know relationship whatever right and I just I just feel like you lost respect for them with the reverse I don't yeah um you saw them as being um just want to say selfish you see it as, as them being selfish um and with the wheel of fortune in reverse it's
resisting the change, like resisting whatever's happened. It's like, no, I don't want that to be the case. Seven of Cups in reverse. You feel like you feel like this person had choices, right? And whether they they felt like they didn't. Because they were making no progress, right? They, with the page of pentacles in reverse, they were just making no progress. They were trying to focus on themselves. And a lot of things just weren't working for them, working out for them. You know, they tried things that wouldn't work and it would probably make them in worse, worse place. Um, you're trying to emotionally manipulate them, but at the same time, you did, you were resisting that change. You didn't want things to change. And maybe you're like a person who doesn't like change in general, but I feel like you feel like they should have been more determined and had some, had other choices. But I don't know if they did. I don't think they felt like they did. Now, they had the Two of Wands, like I said. The Two of Wands, you know, in reverse. They just had a lot of inner conflict. And you had the Ace of Pentacles, where you felt like you had to kind of start afresh and focus on your own um, happiness and your own um, stability because it wasn't coming from this person anymore. And you got the sun card, like the sun card is the most positive card in the deck. The sun card talks about you not needing validation from anyone. It's about having material happiness, joyous outcomes, success, good fortune, optimism. You know, I feel like we talked about there's a lesson to be learned and we talked about this person you know, coming to talk to you in your dreams, you know, um, I feel like, you know, you may be resisting the change, but I, I, I just, yeah, I just, I, things are going to be okay. You know, you'll make, you've got another way to, make yourself feel safe and secure but I, I you know whatever this is that you're going to be healing from it's going to get you out of this dark place for you as I said it's going to lift you out of the the negativity and it's going to bring good things like things good things are going to start happening for you um you know you might be you probably retreated you probably withdrew from the world for a little while um, yeah you, you need to do that introspection you need to you need to heal your heart definitely a spiritual lesson for, for you all right that's what I have um, for your 
Aquarius, I hope that resonates. If it does, please don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. Um, and, yeah, good luck with the healing, you know. I hope that it helps lift you out of the darkness. Anyway, thanks very much for watching. Okay, bye.